Let me show you guys how to actually install Windows 11. Trust me, nobody wants to install Windows 11 as it is, unless you like everything Microsoft has put in to the Windows 11, which I doubt. Windows 11 is actually getting more and more popular starting from 2025. It's not because people like Windows 11, it's because later end of this year, 2025, Microsoft is going to end the support for Windows 10. And people have already started moving over to Windows 11. So if you're also planning to install Windows 11, watch this video before you install it. Now, let's begin with the tutorial. Go to this official website of Microsoft where you can download the Windows 11. And please stay away from the Windows 11 installation assistant and Windows 11 installation media. Yeah. Just don't touch them. If you touch them, this video is useless for you. Instead, go to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO file. And from here, select on select download option and then select Windows 11 and then click on download and then select your language and then the download link will appear. Just click on it to download it. Next, go to this website and download this tool called Rufus. This is a really small file, 1.5 megabytes. Now you need a USB drive. Make sure that your USB drive is at least eight gigabyte. If it's higher, better, but minimum eight gigabyte and plug this thing to your PC. Now go to your downloads folder and then run the program that we just downloaded, Rufus. And here at the top where it says device, here you need to select your USB drive. So I have used this for something else too. So it says Ubuntu. In your case, it will say USB drive or whatever name you have given to your USB drive. And it will actually auto select if you have only one USB drive. So it will just auto detect the drive. Now here where it says disk or ISO image, click on select. And here select the ISO file that we just downloaded. So it's the Win 11 24H2. So we're gonna select that and it's gonna scan the image. So it might take a couple seconds. Now, once it's ready, you can leave everything as it is. You don't have to touch anything. Now, all you have to do here is click on start. Once you click on start, it will prompt you with Windows user experience. You can customize the Windows installation using this. And this is very important for Windows 11 installation. With this, you can remove the system requirements for Windows 11, just in case if your PC doesn't support Windows 11. You can also remove Microsoft account requirement, and you can also create a local account within this tool, so you don't have to do it during installation. And you can also disable data collection, and you can also disable BitLocker encryption. Starting from Windows 11 24H2, BitLocker is actually automatically enabled. So if you don't want to use that, just disable it using this tool. Now, once you're ready, just click on OK and click on OK again. Now it's gonna format the disk and gonna create a bootable USB drive for your Windows 11. Just extra tip for you guys, if you're still on Windows 10 and you wanna upgrade to Windows 11, I recommend you guys to do a clean installation of Windows 11 instead of upgrading because there is a higher chances of you're getting into some issues, bugs, or you know, blue screen of death and all that. So it is best to do a clean installation whenever there is a new version of Windows available. Now, once it's done, it will say ready. Now you can close this program. Now you need to boot into your BIOS. Every BIOS looks different and there are different key combos to enter into BIOS or boot menu. And I recommend you guys to do a Google search for that, like how to enter into BIOS or boot menu of your laptop or motherboard, like how to enter MSI, this model, BIOS menu. I'm pretty sure you guys are very smart and you guys can do it. Now, once you're in boot menu, you have to select your USB drive here. Again, as I said, every BIOS looks different. For this tutorial, I'm just using a virtual machine. So I'm gonna select the bootable USB drive that we just created. So I'm gonna select that. Now here we can start installing Windows 11, but we are not done here. So when you see this screen, select language here, I recommend you guys to change the time and currency format to English world. So I'm gonna select 
that the reason why I selected the English world here, it's gonna debloat Windows 11 and you don't need to use third party tools to debloat Windows 11. We're gonna click on next now and again next and I agree, just click on next, enter the product key if you have, if you don't, you wanna enter later or something, you can click on I don't have product key and now select your edition. I'm gonna select the Windows 11 Pro and gonna hit next accept everything here you need to select your drive where you want to install it now ready to install install windows 11 pro and keep nothing it's basically gonna format the drive that you have selected if there is anything on your drive make sure to back up and then install it okay so we're gonna click on install now it will take a couple of minutes to install it and it will restart itself a couple of times so during installation you might think the installation is stuck here but it is not stuck don't worry just wait a couple of minutes it will give you this message saying something went wrong so you don't have to worry about this uh, this happened because we changed the time and currency format to English world so you don't have to worry about anything here just click on skip don't click on try again okay and now choose your keyboard layout and language okay and uh, yeah, we are almost done here actually. And it is installed. No privacy related prompts, no Microsoft account, no nothing like that. It will straight uh, take you to the desktop and you can already see there are no bloatwares. Uh, there is Microsoft Edge, that's it. <laughs> okay, and which we actually need to download the other browsers if you just in case don't use Microsoft Edge. Okay. If you go into all apps section, here you'll see most of the things are actually gone. Now, this is basically the minimal Windows installation. We have the local account, no Microsoft account, almost no bloatwares. So this is how you should be installing Windows 11 for better user experience. Okay, but we are not done here, actually. Go to settings, okay, and then uh, go to apps. Here, you can actually uninstall more apps that you don't want to use. So first, what I actually do is go here and uninstall the Microsoft OneDrive. I don't use it, just in case if you use it, good, but I don't use it. Now, I'm not gonna say I don't use Microsoft account uh, in Windows 11, I do use Microsoft account, but first, I install the Windows 11 this way and then clean out the Windows 11. I remove everything, that I don't need like OneDrive, Bing Search, Copilot, Microsoft 360, Office, okay, all of these things that I don't use. And then I use the Microsoft account because if you use Microsoft account from the start, it will automatically start a OneDrive backup, which I don't like and don't want to use. Next, you should change your region actually because some of the apps and features might not work because the region is set to world. Let's say for example, I wanna open the Microsoft store. I can't use it. So you're gonna go into time and language and then click on region. And from here, change the country region to wherever you live, okay? Let's say for example, United States. Once you do that, the features that weren't working will start working again. So you can see here, now the Microsoft store is working. Now, I recommend you guys to download this tool called WinToys to do a further optimization. This video was about how to actually install Windows 11. So I'm not gonna go too deep into like how to optimize Windows 11, what to use, but this is just extra tip for you guys. Download this app, WinToys. Basically using this app, you can change many Windows settings in one place quick and easily. Cause if you try to go into the settings or control panel, uh, let's just say everything is scattered, okay? You have to go into each of these tabs to change different settings about privacy or performance. But using this app, you'll find everything in one place. So you can enable or disable specific settings, like for example, ultimate performance power plan. If you want to use it, you can create that using this app with one click. So yeah, anyone who uses Windows or doesn't want to move to different operating system, 
they'll be forced to use Windows 11. But Windows 11 is actually worse than Windows 10 from the user experience perspective. But the good thing is that you still have a little bit of control what you want and all that using some tools. Uh, one more thing, there are many ways you can install Windows 11 without bloat and removing everything and all that. Uh, but in my opinion, Rufus is perfect. It's simple, it's effective, and it is like overall the best tool to use uh, to install Windows 11. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.